Welcome to San Diego Market Movers. I'm your host, Valley, and I am blessed to be sitting on the couch here with Jim McInerney. Welcome. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yes, of course. Okay, Jim, you've got loads of experience in real estate. So one of our questions is, how are you advising sellers now, setting expectations now versus what you were six months ago? You know, now we're setting more realistic timelines of how long it could take to get an offer. So we're bumping that out dramatically. Um, we're also letting sellers know that it's there's a chance that you might go in escrow, fall out of escrow. Mm. Um, it's not 100% weighted in the seller's favor. Mm -hmm. um, we may have to give some concessions and do some repairs where in the past the sellers gave no concessions. The property sold over list. Yeah. I'm telling sellers that if their house is worth two five, we may want to price it at two million four fifty. Mm -hmm. Because the market is adjusting, you've got to show value to the buyers up front. Mm -hmm. And that kind of is what we've always done, right? We've always yes. kind of listed right beneath of course. Uh, the value. Of course. And so this is just Getting normal. back to normal. Yeah, and it, but it's also like a psychological reset for people. We've been kind of tricked the last three years. Not 100%. tricked, but we've been in a different market. So people got used to that. Yes. And now they have to go revert back to what was. Yeah, and the revert isn't even that bad. No. All the houses are still selling. Right. which sometimes in the past they wouldn't. It would right. just expire, and you'd have to go through two or three agents before it got sold. So we're headed back to normal, but it's still a wonderful market. But you can't be goofy anymore as mm -hmm. a seller mm -hmm. and think you're going to get what your neighbor got six months ago. Those days are gone. And I think the challenge is a lot of these sellers have still not even realized that the market has shifted mm -hmm. as of six months ago. Right. So there's still a yeah, lot of takes, people like coming a, to the table. A delay. There's like a little yeah. slug in the in uh, people getting it. Yes. Just like when interest rates rise and they're slowly rise. They're, well, they're, I guess they're they're rising quickly. Yes. But it takes people that are in the market buying and refinancing oh, maybe a month or two for it to really hit where 100%. people realize, you know, oh, it's a lot higher than I thought it was, well, and it, it takes a while. You're right. I mean, we're hypersensitive to it mm -hmm. because we're in every the industry day. every day and we're dealing with people in the industry, right. but your normal consumer has a job and a life and children and, yeah. you know, they're just getting little snippets mm -hmm. of news. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, we're, we're setting different expectations with our clients. And so I also wonder how for you it's been with sellers taking in that information. How are they reacting? Um, not well. <laughs> it's pretty much everyone's saying that. Yeah, like almost you have to club them over the head. No. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I haven't done that in years. Uh, most of them are not taking it well. Most of them don't want to accept mm -hmm. the fact that they may have missed the peak. Yeah, because we're still in that transitionary period where right. they're realizing what values are. Yep. Yeah. And so... You know, I had a client say, oh, that one sold in the peak. And I'm like, no, it closed three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You know, and the peak was six months ago. Mm -hmm. So I would say most sellers are not taking it well, but it's slowly changing. It's like changing the Titanic. Well, I always like to say, too, I mean, if you look at it, if you were to sell at the peak, you're also probably going to buy at the peak again. Mm -hmm. But if you're selling now you, and those buyers have a little bit more pull and a little bit mm -hmm. more to, you know, say in how the sale goes, you become a buyer eventually, and now you're in that position. So they all, the, the, each market kind of washes itself, right? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, so yeah, I, I, I mean, it's just something to think about. But I, I'm excited to see how this market transitions again. You've been in the market for, you've been in the industry for a while. Yeah, so. you know, the interesting thing is just because it's transitioned, there's still a market. There's always a market. Right. You know, it's like a stock that's trading at 120 is now trading at 109. Uh -huh. But it still trades thousands of shares a day. You right. just have to price it at 109. You can't ask for 120 when it trades at 109. So we shouldn't be too worried. We shouldn't be worried at all. Right. It's still a fantastic market. We live in San Diego, California. Yeah. One of the most desirable places in the world. Mm -hmm. And interest rates are still historically low. Honestly, and we have it an inventory. might be the most desirable place in the world. If you I look at how so. other cities, major cities yeah. are going right now, I mean, I don't want to be anywhere else but San Diego. I agree with and you 100%. Have every, all tech and big things coming. We have military it's here. Very so exciting. our values are always going to stay somewhat stable. And we I can think always COVID recover. really put San Diego on the map once and for all mm -hmm. because of the weather and the climate and the lifestyle. That's right. Every, the whole world saw it. Well, and I love how much experience you have. So you're the one to go to to buy or sell. 
All right. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here so much. Thank you for having me. It's Thank an honor. Thank you for watching. Thank you.